We hear a lot about mainstream media bias and it's always liberal bias. It's a leftover talking point from the Reagan era that does not make sense anymore when the media is almost entirely owned by major multinational corporations. They tend to be incredibly pro-corporate, which is the opposite of progressive or liberal. So it makes zero sense when they have Democrats on, say, you know, CNN has Bakari Sellers, who responded to my tweet earlier today, uh, as, as a resident commentator, he's not a radical. He's not a crazy leftist. But they have guys like Jeffrey Lord, who they hired and had on their panels, or Rick Santorum, all the time. They're way more comfortable with the further right perspective. That is my opinion, but I think it's also a fact because this is who they just hired. On Tuesday, a CNN spokesperson confirmed to the Daily Beast that the network has hired Republican political advisor Sarah Isger as the politics editor helming CNN's 2020 coverage. Throughout her decade-long career in Republican politics, Isger has served as an advisor to Ted Cruz and Mitt Romney and was Carly Fiorina's deputy campaign manager for the 2016 Republican primary. Until last year, Isger was a top spokesperson for then Attorney General Jeff Sessions' Department of Justice. A CNN spokesperson said Isger will not be involved in the network's DOJ coverage, but will guide TV and digital coverage of the 2020 election, occasionally offering on-screen analysis. As of Tuesday afternoon, the company has not circulated any guidance to staff about Isger's new role, leaving employees to wonder how much of a role she will have in day-to-day -day political reporting. It's extremely demoralizing for everyone here, one network editorial staffer told The Daily Beast. So look, I don't work at CNN. I don't know what the politics of their company involve, but I can, can't even imagine working at a company where probably all of these reporters and the people that work in digital media for them are working pretty hard. They have experience in politics. I may think that they're centrists and that they call everything even and they're not objective, but they're neutral, which is, is the death of journalism 100%. We may disagree, but 100% there were people in the building more qualified to do this very important job leading their 2020 coverage than a former Carly Fiorina deputy campaign manager who also worked for Jeff Sessions. I can't even imagine how I'd feel if I was a reporter at CNN right now. And it just goes to show how much they've internalized the fact that they're supposedly liberal and that they're biased against conservatives, they trip over themselves to hire conservatives to constantly fight that narrative. In addition to the fact that they are institutionally incentivized to be more right-wing, to be more corporate, and, and yet we all pretend it's this fiction that we all have to agree to. And I feel like I'm, I'm or we don't have to, but I feel like a lot of the media agrees to, I feel like I'm pulling my hair out. There is no, liberal bias in the mainstream press anymore. It's just not true. Like, does CNN have one Democratic Socialist on staff? Nina Turner does appearances there. I'm not entirely sure of her role. But besides Nina Turner, if we're even giving them Nina Turner, she's not on very often. She sometimes shows up. They have Rick Santorum on staff. Who is their Democratic Socialist on staff? I mean, it is a now, I believe, majority of the Democratic grassroots that, I, that are, are supportive of, of Democratic Socialist policies, yet they have no representative of that part of the party, of that part of the party that's pushing the rest of the party, that has indelibly changed the fabric of the Democratic Party, no representation there. They don't care about that representation. It goes against the structure of their organization, and it goes against what they believe they're supposed to do, which is just push everything to the right so we can appease these nonsense, squawking conservatives who constantly say that CNN is fake news and that it has a, a, a media bias that leans towards progressives and liberals. It's just nonsense. It's like they're, they're punching smoke. It, they're never going to achieve anything by this. And I would be so livid if I was a CNN employee. So I'm very skeptic skeptical now about CNN's 2020 political coverage. I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. So 
we'll have to see what her role is, but I'm going to take it with a grain of salt because it's being led by a Republican operative. At, at least that's what the Daily Beast and Politico and other outlets are reporting. So we'll have to see, but by God.